Hey there, my friend, fellow trader, it's Will here over to fxace.com. So first of all, welcome to the video. So I've just finished uh, another uh, fantastic week in the Forex markets with our signal service. And uh, this video, we're going to do a quick recap of the trades we entered this week and some of the close calls we had. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button now to stay up to date with uh, my weekly videos and my weekly uh, free trade alerts. If you're not already a member of the free Facebook group, you can head over there now and join it. It is the FXES Professional Forex Signal and edu Educational Group. Okay, so this week we just banked around just over 300 pips. And you can see in the Telegram group here that <coughs> the trades that our clients were getting. So Abibides took uh, 323 pips, say 130 pips for Yon, uh, which is uh, me telling people to uh, for uh, Gary and 400, big week for Jack, 442 pips. Okay, uh, let's head over to my results. Okay, this is the copy client's results. Uh, clients that don't trade themselves, they just use my copy service where I uh, take the trades for them. And we bank around 30, 330 pips on that service using our own. Okay, we had some really, really close calls. USD CAD missed that trade by a few pips. Also, Euro CAD missed up by a few pips. Uh, Aussie CAD also missed up by a few pips. These three, these three trades here went nearly close to our entry and then tanked uh two of them went to take profit usd card actually went to take profit or more or less take profit on friday it actually plummeted we I mean, missed that trade that was really uh just one of those things that happened so we'll look at the charts now some of the trades we took out so the first one we're going to look at is usd card okay usd card you can see the nice drop in this last week the reason we're taking this trade is you can see we've had this huge weekly zone here on the chart. Okay, it's very, very big. And what I usually do is I'll zoom into the smaller time frames and look for a zone, daily zone inside that. Okay, and there we have it up here. Okay, right at the top of that. We'll just go back. Okay, so what I was waiting for was it already reacted that that area two weeks ago. You can see we had a huge reaction that dropped pretty hard. What I was waiting for was the rally back up to touch this zone and then sell it again. So what actually happened? We were looking to enter this trade a bit higher up at one forty five eight hundred, and you can see on Monday we literally missed it by. I think 20 pips. Okay, so highly unlucky in that trade. And you can see it tanked 600 pips from that. It's one of, one of those things. If you know my system and know the way I trade, what we look for there is basically a MACD divergence. And again, I don't hide this. We look for a MACD divergence in the higher time frames. And you actually, I didn't actually get that. You got, got it up here a few weeks ago, but we're looking for something. Uh, on their Tuesday, if you know how I trade, this probably would have got you in here a bit earlier. Okay, but then where do you put your stop? Okay, so our trade was 145,800. Uh, highly unlucky with that trade. It happens, part of the game. And uh, we will recoup and refresh for next week. Next one was EuroCAD. Okay, EuroCAD, similar story. We were <clears throat> looking at there at a sale at 158. Okay, 158. We look at the weekly. Bump. Okay, this was just uh, this was one of the trades I put in the group late in the week. So it was. It was a day trade we were looking at, and it was basically to get a reaction of this. Uh, daily area here, okay. You 
see this daily area caused this low and I was looking at the enter at 158 you can see we were actually 10 pips off that okay this was the trade here more or less right on it but <laughs> close but not close enough again it happens and that from that move there tanked uh, nearly 400 pips so it did so another trade we were unlucky with now the first trade that we're going to look at here that actually triggered was a trade that I sent midweek into the group because it was a pretty, we didn't actually get entered into any trades till Wednesday. Nothing was really moving, so I had to re-evaluate, uh, reassess the market, and look for some trading setups for the Signal subscribers. One of these uh, setups was on the NC Euro JPY. Okay, it was rallying all week up. I was looking to get a reaction in this zone here on the daily charts. It was actually 121.100, and you can see it rallied right up into nearly to the like to the pip. Yeah, f actually got triggered up by five pips, and you can see it dropped nearly 200 pips from there. We managed to get around about 100 pips on that move, which was good. Euro JPY. Next one that was triggered was the Aussie JPY, and that was a uh, one of the probably the trade of the week for us. I think 120, 100, 120 pips, I think I got the signal, got with the copy clients, but some uh, <clears throat> clients would have gotten more on that. So this signal was 67,700. And again, the other ones we were lucky to get triggered on, this one uh, got us in by a pip and we managed to write that down. Again, we closed all these trades. That actually dropped 300 pips from uh, that move. Not 300, 200, maybe 270 pips. We got about 170 pips in that, which was good. We closed all our trades on Tuesday, okay, because we more or less reached our hit weekly target. Okay, so that was a nice trade. Got that Aussie CAD was, I think this was another one we missed out on. Okay, so Aussie CAD, we missed it. We were looking to sell that at 87. Okay, sell at 87. I would have got the wrong broker there. So, 87 was the one we're looking at here. Aussie card. And it was basically at this area here. This is an untested area. This was another midweek trade. Price was rallying pretty nicely up into it. And again, extremely unlucky not to get triggered here. See, 10 pips on that trade. And that tanked also for, from that there, down nearly just over 300 pips. Again, part of the game, didn't get triggered. Another trade of the week, which we got about 100 pips on, was the Aussie uh, Kiwi. Okay, we were looking to... <clears throat> I like this area here on the charts. This is what we're looking at here, this... Swing high caused this swing low, and we were looking at the end of the sell us at 103. Okay, just basically up in here, it was letting it rally up to the top of the zone. It was actually a little higher up. So 103, we were looking to sell this trade, and you can see it actually dropped 170 pips. We got about 100 pips in that, as you can see in the group there. And last but not least was. Swiss franc JPY that got triggered on Thursday and we managed to get 40 pips in it. Okay, so in hindsight, we could have stayed in longer, but we reached our target. And in current market uh, conditions, if we reach, reach our weekly target, it's best just to uh, take the profits. And you can see the way I'm trading here we, we trade off the higher time frames, we trade off the where the volatility is going to be, where the best best reactions you're going to get in the market. We don't look at lower time frames. Uh, the volatility at the minute is in the higher time frames, and kind of your if you're day trading, you're kind of going to get wiped out by high spreads and unpredictable moves. You want to be trading where the volatility is, and the volatility again, like I said last week in my videos, is in the higher time frames. So, Swiss Bank JPY. Uh, trading zone here on the weekly charts 
Uh, you can see we've had a few reactions to that. This was another midweek event sent this Wednesday evening in our Telegram group. And I basically was just looking to, you can see this is actually an untested daily area up here. And again, we were looking to sell this at 113.9. Yeah, 113.9, and you can see we got triggered nine pips. So we got into this trading, you can see it actually dropped 150 pips. Could have stayed in longer in hindsight, but again, we were out if we had a left it to the end of the week on Friday. Again, I'm happy enough with 40 pips in that. We've hit a reach weekly target and we took our money. So pretty simple. So that was last week's uh, trading results. And that actually brings us, we actually think this week we actually crossed the pip count. Okay, we just, thanks to this week, we actually crossed the 10,000 pip count since August 2019. See our chart here, the pips with our signal service here. Very consistent. <clears throat> our lowest month was December, which is expected. Uh, December is a month where the markets will tend to slow down towards the end of the year. See, after the summer holidays, August, September, October, you had a huge amount of pips. After December holidays, we're getting a nice run. So we're coming into the April. I do expect the markets to kind of slow down towards Easter holiday, but current market conditions could remain still uh, very volatile. But again, we're getting nice, nice, uh, consistent results with our signals. And um, most importantly, our clients are getting... Uh, nice uh, results week in week out as you can see in the telegram group here that i post each week you can also check in the facebook group so if you're looking for a reliable uh, forex signal service that actually guarantees you results and has a proven track record uh you can simply click the link below we provide professional uh, forex signals we trade ourselves uh, we trade for our clients through our copy service and our managed account services uh yeah so we guarantee you nine, minimum 900 pips every 90 days the reason we do this is because we know how to trade and we know our method works it doesn't matter what uh kind of market climate we're in because we're looking at the higher time frame charts we're looking uh at charts where the volatility is going to be and that's why we're getting these kind of results week in week out because we're trading the higher time frames we're not looking at smaller time frame areas. We're not looking at 15 minute, 30 minute charts. We're looking at the higher time frames. You can see the video I posted last week on my YouTube channel, the volatilities in the higher time frames, especially in markets like this. So if you want to access our signal service, uh, click the link below. If you have any questions, uh, simply ask me at will at the fxas.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm really looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our telegram group thanks for watching click the link below get signed up well over at fxace.com